Hey, everyone. Thanks for hopping on with Brendan Rogers here. Give us a few seconds while we let the Zoom populate. We'll go ahead and get started. Reiner, if you have a question, to raise your hand, and I'll unmute you to ask the question. Reiner, Brendan's playing in this game tonight, so we're going to try and keep it as short as possible and limit it to two questions per. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with Thomas. Thomas Harding, go ahead. Hey, Brandon. Um, first of all, I'm looking at you. You look a little bit more physical, like you hit the weight room really hard during this time. If you can kind of describe what you did during that period, then I have a follow-up question. Yeah, um, I was just really focused on getting my – that extra time kind of worked out in my favor. And um, I really I really got to it in the gym on my shoulder. Uh, anything upper body, obviously, trying to strengthen my shoulder, get it as strong as uh, – as it was before pre-surgery. And, uh, you know, I just had fun lifting weights. I got to lift with Drew. I was lifting with Zach Veen. I was lifting with a bunch of guys. And, you know, we just made 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 fun of it. And uh, at the end of the day, I, I guess I came out a lot stronger than uh, than usual. I did put on like 10, 10 or so pounds, lost some lost some bad weight. So, uh, no, I feel I feel great right now. OK, so first of all, what are you weighing in at? And secondly, <clears throat> Has it helped you on the field? Has it helped your swing offensively? I've noticed a very patient swing from you. You're not swinging for the fences right now, but mm -hmm. um, ha has it helped you physically be, be a better player? And where's your swing? I've, uh, my swing feels great. Um, I, I think it definitely added some power. Um, I'm still, you know, my motto has always been less is more. I, I, I try to keep things as simple as possible when I'm in the box. And um so, but I think the power, I think the power is going to play. Um, I haven't, you know, I haven't hit many home runs or any, but um, uh, that's, I, I try to just focus on line drives, gap to gap. I know the, I know the home runs will come, um, but I definitely, uh, I definitely feel, I feel stronger. My my legs feel better. My, my whole, my whole arsenal feels, feels complete now, you know, two, I weigh, I also weigh 210 pounds. I forgot to mention that 210. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Hey, listen, thanks a lot. Um, I guess other people coming in with questions, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Thomas. Patrick Saunders, go ahead. Hi, Brendan, how are you? Hey, Patrick. Uh, question for you. Um, I have two questions. Let's start with the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is essentially the last day of quote-unquote summer camp. It's been, a, it's been kind of a rush. Yeah. Uh, how do you think you guys have taken advantage of essentially a 15-day mini camp if you will do you think you guys are pretty well prepared absolutely um we had a we had a talk as a team um before coming into this with all the protocols and the masks and and everything going on and obviously this season is going to be more of a sprint um and i think we've we've all busted our tails in these these two weeks and um we've all put in the work put in the time and for defense all, everything and and i f i feel like we're we look ready to go i mean a lot of guys are raking. A lot of guy. A lot of our pitchers are throwing really well. Um, I think it's. I think this this two weeks has pushed a lot of guys to you know maybe p push it a little harder and and see what what's in the tank and and I think I think it's it's paying off and it's it's going to show this year. And a follow up question about you specifically. Uh, we don't know how all this is going to play out with the DH and whether uh, Murphy's going to do a lot of DHing and. They move Rymac over uh, and put you in at second base, whatever. There's a lot of variables. Mm -hmm. uh, going into this, how comfortable do you feel knowing that you don't know your exact role day by day? Are you cool with that at this stage of your career? Yeah, I mean, I, I just try to stay ready. Um, I don't – a motto I've kind of been living by is don't don't get ready. You just got to – I stay ready, you know. Um, and I, I kind of learned that throughout the quarantine. I, um I was working five, six days a week on on baseball and weight training, and I think it I think it's all going to pay off. I, I uh, any position you throw me at, I'm 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 very comfortable, and uh, I I'll be ready for anything they throw at me. Nick Grove, go ahead. Hey Brandon, what's up? Hey Nick. Hey, uh, have, you know, like Patrick said, it's such a weird season. Uh, it's short. It's just unusual. Have you thought? Have you gamed out or thought? through how you might be able to, to progress individually this season in such a weird way? Um, are you going to kind of just take it sort of as it comes or 
are there are there goals and benchmarks that you're trying to reach kind of kind of personally um you know i had i had goals um for the what was going to be a full season before the outbreaks and everything but um i still keep those i still keep those goals in the back of my mind um you know but the main focus for me is just to help the team win in any way as po- any way i can as possible and to by doing that is just me being ready at all times and and proving that proving that i can play and that i'll i'll be ready for anything cool man thank you yeah Kevin Henry, go ahead. Hey, Brandon, thanks for the time, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Hey, um, curious. During that time that you were working out with Drew and Zach Bean, what was the? Uh, did you get advice from Drew, and did you give advice to Zach? Kind of curious. Yeah, I mean, Drew. Obviously, Drew's been around. Um, he he sees the work that we all put in. He really doesn't. He really doesn't say much. You know, Drew's kind of to himself, but, um, he definitely, we, we were out hitting and, and taking grounders. You know, we were, we were together pretty much every day and you could just see it in each other's eyes and that, that we both wanted it. Uh, same with Zach as well. Um, but yeah, I just told Zach to go in after, after he was picked, of course, I told him to kind of just go with it, be yourself, have fun. Like we got it. You got a great group of guys around you. You got great front office. You got great everybody. So um, I said, just have fun with it, be you, um, and you're going to do great. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Ed Henderson. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Hey, Brandon. Um, it's been a while since we've seen you here in a big league uniform. What would you say is probably the greatest improvement to your game that you, um, that you, that you have assessed uh, since the last time you were here? And then as a follow-up to that, I wanted to ask you, as you move forward into the regular season, what's the greatest personal challenge you're you're going to be experiencing as the season gets underway? Um, I I think the uh, I worked a lot on defense, um, just getting my cardio back um, back home. You know, it was a hundred degrees in Florida and humid, and you know we were, I was out there, you know, and just busting my butt. And I think the I work I worked a lot on on defense. My arm, I was long toss pretty much four to five days a week trying to get that strength back to where I was in the past. Um, that I think the main thing was is definitely just power and strength um, overall and the whole 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 body. Um, and can you can you repeat your the second part of your question again? I'm sorry. Yeah, the second part was in terms of uh, as the season gets underway, what's the uh, the greatest personal challenge you have set for yourself for this year? Um, I would say, honestly, my main focus is staying healthy. Um, you know, I've had my my bump of uh, injuries in the past. Obviously, labrum. I've had a few tweaks here and there on on legs and and hamstrings and whatnot. But my main focus is staying on the field and being ready for pretty much anything that Buddy and and, and the guys you know throw at me. Thank you very much, Brendan. Yep, absolutely. We'll go to Thomas Harding for the last question here. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Brendan, um, obviously you looked at the numbers from last year, you were hurt and all those things, but how important is it for you to make an impact? I know they have a lot of guys that can play here, but let's face it, you were drafted where you were for a reason. You put up the numbers you did in the minor leagues. You feel like by the end of this year, you will be making that type of impact. Uh, yes, absolutely. That's that's the overall goal is um, j- not to prove, but just to show that what I'm capable of and, and that I'm capable of helping this team win um, and just going about my business every day and, and just trying to li- just trying to help win. I, like I, 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 I want to be a winner, you know, and a lot of guys in this clubhouse want to too. And uh, we have great leaders and I'm just trying to follow in their footsteps and do what I can to help, help, help us win. All right. Thank you guys. All the questions we have. Thank you, Brendan. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys.